Are you tired of a bunch of tea boxes and bags taking up space in your kitchen? Here's an easy DIY to get them organized. everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you two easy DIYs to get your collection of tea organized. While I am a huge coffee addict, I am also a big tea lover. I love to drink hot tea throughout the day. This is something that I've done ever since I was a teacher. I drink multiple cups of hot tea to keep me going throughout the day. I like some with caffeine, so it gives me a little bit of a boost, and I like some that don't have caffeine for times that I'm wanting to relax a little bit more. If you're like me and love all sorts of different kinds of teas, you probably have tons of tea boxes and bags and containers in your cabinets and after a while they just create a jumbled mess and they look super disorganized. So several years ago, I was looking for a solution to cut down on the amount of boxes and tea bags that I had in my kitchen cabinet, and I came up with two different solutions. These tea bag organizers that I'm going to show you today will work for two different types of tea bags. The first type is the ones that are sealed in a little pouch like this one, and the second type is the ones that come in a box like this that have tea bags that are unsealed in them. So let's go start our DIY. For the first tea bag organizer, for the tea bags that are in sealed envelopes, you're going to need a box of tea, duct tape, any kind that you want, pick a design that you like and would look good in your kitchen, your drawers, your cabinets, and some scissors. The first thing that we're gonna do is open up this tea box. Now, be careful how you open it. You're going to need all of the sides except the top. Open this up here. We're going to take all of the tea bags out. Then what we're gonna do is cut off the top flaps or any of the top pieces so that we only have the sides and the bottom. I'm gonna to try to keep it as even as possible with the edge of the tea box. And trim any pieces that aren't level or to your liking. Take the duct tape and we are gonna use this to decorate the outside of the box. So I'm gonna start on the bottom. This duct tape is more narrow than the box, so I'm gonna end up using two strips on here. Open this up and peel enough to at least cover the whole box. It's okay if it wraps around, that's not a big deal. You'd rather have too much than not enough. Then you're gonna stick it on the bottom here. You wanna get even with the edge of the box or as even as you can get. And then fold the excess down. I'm gonna do that one more time. You can try to line it up if you want to, but I don't think that's worth it because it's on the bottom of the box and you're not actually gonna see that part. All right, now that we have the bottom, we're going to cover the sides. We wanna to try to get a strip long enough that we'll wrap all the way around the whole entire box. Actually, instead of cutting this one, I'm gonna start with it on here. It'll be a little, make it a little bit easier. It would probably be easier to put on if you cut it first, but this is a good way to make sure you have enough. and smooth it down. Okay, right, we're gonna do the same thing one more time on the top part. Try to get the edge of duct tape here as even as you can with the edge of the box. That way you have a clean line when you're done. Again, you could try to line it up here, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. 
careful with the duct tape. Super sticky. When you're done, just smooth it all down. And then you have a cute box. And now we'll take all of the tees and we will place them back in the box. Ta-da! For the second type of tea bags, we have the kind that are not sealed in a wrapper. They're just kind of sealed in this box like this. I struggled with how to store these type of tea bags for the longest time and finally found a way that works really nicely and is incredibly easy. You need the box. You're going to need a Ziploc sandwich bag and again, some scissors. What we are going to do with this one is we are going to cut off the top part of the box and so we want this piece right here. Just cut off the bottom piece. That way you just have this top part so that you know the type of tea that's in the bag. I'm going to take this piece and put it in the Ziploc bag. And all I'm going to do is open up the teas, grab them all out, and put them behind the top of the box in the bag. Then once you seal the bag, you can fold it over and you can store the tea like this in your drawer. If you're like me, you can have a whole collection of them and it's very easy to tell which type of tea is which because all of the bags look the same and they're not labeled. And if it's one that you use a lot of whenever you run out of the bag, you can just save it and then pop the tea bags in there and use the same label again. Here is what all of our tea organizers look like stored in the drawer. This is a drawer underneath our coffee bar where I make the tea. So I have three of the sealed tea bag organizers done with the duct tape here. And I have some room for more if I need it. And then all of the other bags that I keep in sandwich bags I have here stored vertically so I can just flip through and find the tea that I want to use. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps you create a home you'll love. Just for watching today's video, I have a special free guide for you. My home organization essentials. Just click on the first link down in the description below and that will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, comment below and let me know what's your favorite tea. Mine is the Bigelow Spiced Chai. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell, that way you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.